In this video, we're going to take a look at how to add some more dynamic content to your Google site. So rather than just having static images and text, you can add some more interactive elements, such as a YouTube video or presentation from your Google slide. So I've already started by creating a new page and used one of the default layouts on the right hand side here to create these placeholders on the page. So let's get started by adding in a calendar. Now you can either select calendar from the right hand tools menu here. Alternatively, just select the plus icon on the placeholder I've already added and then select calendar. This will show you any calendar you have access to. So I'm going to select the staff college calendar and press insert. You'll notice when inserting uh, an element such as this, it will resize it automatically to fit within the placeholder you've already set up. And when you add some uh, something like a calendar, you also see a new dialog box pop up, which lets you customize the settings. So I'm going to take away the title, remove the navigation buttons. And for me, you can also customize the type of calendar you can see. So I'm going to leave it as an agenda view. It's also worth mentioning, it's important to share the calendar when you're adding it to your Google site. Otherwise, users visiting your site will just get an error message. Okay, so now let's move on to a YouTube video. So again, let's press a plus icon here, select YouTube, and you can either search for a video or choose a video you've already uploaded. So I'm gonna search for Barton. Select this video. And again, you'll see it's automatically resized the video to fit within our placeholder and I can customize some further settings here. Okay, next let's add a Google map. And type in a postcode. Okay, now let's have a look at adding a Google slide. So when clicking here, you don't actually have an option for slides, but you can select Google Drive and choose a slide from there. Alternatively, just select slides from the right hand tools menu. And then select a recent side. Now, as I've used the right hand tools menu to insert that slide, it's not gone into the placeholder where I want it to be. So you can just simply pick it up and then drag it into the placeholder. When adding a Google slide, you can customize some further options. So for example, you can tell it to autoplay the slide when it loads, loop playback, and stay on each slide for five seconds. You can also add in a Google form in the same way. Now this is really useful for adding in a survey or questionnaire or any form you want to capture information on your site. So let's select a recent form I've made press insert and then move it into our content box here. But actually it doesn't fit in there very well. So I think I'll move this section uh, down to here and then make the form a bit bigger so we can actually see what's uh, on the page. It's also possible to add external website content into Google Sites. So for example, you might want to add a Twitter feed or another page hosted externally. So let's press embed and select embed code. And I've already selected the code necessary to embed the college Twitter feed. Let's hit next. It then shows you a preview of a code you've just entered. And then you simply press insert. And now let's move it into our content box up here. And there we go. This will automatically update whenever the college updates for Twitter feed. After you've finished adding your content to your website, you can preview what your published Google site will look like. Simply press the preview icon on the top bar. And then you can see what it looks like on a large screen, tablet, or phone. Okay, that's it. Hopefully this video has been useful to you.
In the next video, we'll look at sharing and collaboration settings.